Hey, this is Daryl with DarylEaves.com. Have you ever wondered how to customize your thumbnail on your YouTube video? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to do it. I'm gonna show you how to do it like the pros. And when you do this, you're actually gonna get more views on that video. Stay tuned. I'm gonna show you how simple this really is. It's not that complicated. You gotta click on the upper right-hand corner for the video manager. This will bring in the section where it has all your uploaded videos. And the one that I wanna change is how to change your YouTube video custom thumbnail. So we'll go ahead and click that edit button. And right here, YouTube automatically selects three thumbnails that you can choose from. And one of them might be great, but I want you to use this step because it's gonna bring more conversions. It's about more people clicking on that video and watching that video. Um, and to do that, they have this custom thumbnail button that you're able to upload. And I'm gonna show you how to, to maximize the clicks from there. So the first thing is we gotta know that what file size we need to create that thumbnail. They suggest that we use 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. Now you might not know what a pixel is. Do not worry about it. I will show you everything. All you need to do is follow the instructions in this video. And you can upload it as a JPEG, GIF, ping, whatever, and have it uh, be no more than two megabytes. But I'm going to show you everything, how simple it is. You don't need any additional software. So let's go ahead and click on the video here. Um, and we want to click this watch on YouTube button. So we'll go ahead and click that. Now, once the video loads, we want to find the exact shot that we want to use. So you want to scrub through your video, just kind of play your video and, and pause it, find the, the perfect picture. I like this one. And then what you want to do is hit full screen mode. Now, when you're in full screen mode, what we're going to do now is take a screenshot of the, uh, the picture that we've selected in the video. On Windows, you can use the snipping tool. If you don't know anything about the snipping tool, click in the link below in the description and you'll get some more information on the snipping tool on Windows. On a Mac, super simple. All you need to do is hit Command Shift 4 and you're now able to uh, take a screenshot of the image. So go ahead and do that. And now that saves it to the desktop, that image to the desktop, and we'll use that in a minute. There's also, for advanced users, there's a tool called Sketch, um, and you can look in the description below. And what that does is it actually increases the resolution of that uh, screenshot, which is great if you want a high, higher quality uh, image. So we'll leave the full screen mode, and what we'll want to do now is go to um, this website. Um, pixlr.com and it's spelled p-i-x-l-r.com now here we'll go ahead and hit open pixlr editor and it will say create a new image so we want to click on that and here's the great thing guys um, right here with the new image we'll go ahead and just scroll all the way down to where it says movie 720 and look at this it brings it in at 1280 by 720. So it already did it for us. We didn't have to put anything in there. So let's go ahead and uh, open that. That brings up our, our document. Um, and I'm gonna move the file size down just a little bit so that you can see what we're doing here. Um, the next thing we wanna do is come to the upper right-hand corner here and click on Open Image. This will be able, to, you'll be able to search, search your desktop, okay? And that's what we want you to do. So let's go ahead and use the image I did the screenshot. I really like this image here. Um, and let's go ahead and what we'll want to do is over in the right hand corner here, we wanna click on the layers and just drag it to your new frame. Notice that it just filled it in perfectly, okay, from the screenshot. And you can adjust it and you'll notice that it's not exactly where I want it. But uh, here we are, we can adjust it perfectly from there. and. We're just moments away of having our perfect custom thumbnail. Now what we wanna do is click on this A button here in the tools, and this brings up a type tool. Let's go ahead and click that. And what we'll want to do is put our verbiage here. So how, oh, let's spell right, how to customize your YouTube thumbnail. Okay, so we have that there. Now, the great thing about this is we can actually just start modifying it right within this, okay? And let's go ahead and make it a lot bigger. See that? We can use that a lot bigger. And we'll go ahead and do it from there. We're going to move this just off to the side so we can see what we're doing. Do it a lot bigger here, okay? And the great thing is, is you can do a different style font. Look at all these different fonts that you can do. Now, um, go ahead and just, you can just 
go down and you can see how it changes in your screen there. Let's just find a font that uh, would work for us. Let's go ahead and uh, find a good font. Um, uh, you know, I like that. That's, that's nice and bold. And let's go ahead and make it the size that we want. Um, and I, what I want to do is get it so that it's not right on top of me. And I can make the... Let's change the color. Go ahead and click the color thing here. I want it like a deep red or something like that. I like red. That always works out really, really good. So we, we, we're starting to modify this a little bit. And maybe we want to just up the, the size just to... Uh, let's, let's get it to like 80 th or 93. And let's move it around just a little bit. It looks like I need to space it over. So, okay, we, we got it. And uh, I think on this one, let's go ahead and put an explanation point. Hit OK. Now, the great thing about this is we're almost there. Most of you say, hey, look, look at that. I, I, I'm perfect. This is great. What we want to do is co click over here on the upper uh, right-hand side where it says Layer Styles. And let's go ahead and click that button. Let's take it even a step further. And all this is online, guys. This is not an application. So we want to have a bevel. And we want to adjust that bevel. That's a way too big of a bevel. So we want to just create the size a little bit. Like that. I like that bevel right there. And let's go ahead and hit drop shadow. Okay. And we want to do the same thing with drop shadow. Let's bring the shadow down and the distance right there. Look at that. So look how simple that that is. Um, and, and then we have that. Now that we have the image, all we got to do is come up to edit. Or I'm sorry, to file and then down to save. And it will save uh, on your desktop. Now, this is an important thing. Let's go ahead and name it. Let's call it YouTube uh, Thumbnail, okay? And uh, the great thing about it is we want to come down here and click the format. We'll just keep it as a JPEG. And the quality, we want to do it at 100%. And go ahead and hit OK. It's going to ask you where to, to save it. We're going to go ahead and save it to my desktop. Now, once that's done, we need to come back to our channel. And to get back where we need to be, we need to go ahead and hit edit. So let's go to the video manager again. And let's hit the edit button. And we'll now hit this custom thumbnail and upload the image that we actually just did. And it's going to take a minute or two to upload or a second or two to upload. Now that it's uploaded, all we got to do is select it here and hit save changes. And it's going to be saving here for a second. And let's go ahead and hit refresh. And voila, that's how you customize those thumbnails for the YouTube videos. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you're interested in more videos and tips on how to become a better marketer, click on my belly. Subscribe, guys, subscribe. Click on the belly to stay up to date on all the cool things that will be coming out and it will make you successful in your business.